Now I know a lot of you are thinking, first of all, he introduced letters into mathematics, which we haven't had before. And now all of a sudden he's talking about trees. Where is this going? <laughs> Tree diagrams are basically one way of representing the possible outcomes of independent events. Now what I mean by independent events is that one thing or one outcome doesn't affect the answer of the other one. For example, I've got two coins here. Okay, now I'm going to flip this one and then I'm going to flip this one. So let's just flip this one to start off with. Okay, it's a heads. Okay, that's coin number one. Now, this is coin number two. I'm going to flip this. I'm going to flip this. I'm going to flip this. Okay, this is tails. Now, that was coin number one. This is coin number two. Whatever answer I get with this coin does not affect the answer that I get in this coin. So therefore, there are two different or two separate events, two separate outcomes, and in technical terms, we call them two independent events. Now, if I want to list the outcomes of these two coins, I can use a probability tree. We start off with coin number one. Okay. So the probability of getting a heads and a tails. Those are the only two possible outcomes. And it's because it's 50-50, it's one half and one half. Now don't forget what I told you. The total outcomes should add up to one. Well, a half plus a half is equal to one. Therefore, that's fine. The, the branches for that part of the tree are complete. Now what about the second coin? So, coin number two. So the outcomes are exactly the same. There's only two outcomes, heads and tails. The probability of getting a head is one half. Probability of a tail is also one half. Now, I know some of you got confused as to why there's another branch now. Well, if you think about it, if I got heads the first time, I could get heads the second time. I could get tails the second time. However, if I got tails the first time, I can't go back up and join this tree here. I need to have a separate one so I can follow it along. So we just repeat the same thing again. Heads, tails, probability is a half, and the probability is a half. Now, what's the point of doing all of this? Well, if you want to work out the probability of the first coin being a heads and the second coin being a heads, you are going to multiply the two outcomes together. There's the half and there's the other half. That's going to give you one quarter. If you do that for all of the probabilities, this is for all of the outcomes when added together, so it's one quarter plus one quarter equal a whole.